Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. It's Eva from Bohemian Crafting and I'm here today with day three of a hundred days of projects or a hundred crafty projects. Uh, it's totally inspired by Margaret from Seven Plaza and I know she was inspired by uh, Tracy Fox 100 Days Challenge and there was a few more uh, ladies who did already this challenge. If you will type hashtag 100 Days Project you will see so many amazing YouTube channels who joining this challenge. So I hope you will join this challenge as well because it's perfect practicing for junk journal makers or for, for people who love paper craft. And again, today I'm going to be using, uh, again, newspapers, as I said in my first video. And I'm going to create what Margaret did in her third, days, uh, third day of this challenge. She has created uh, tickets. Beautiful video. Go to have a look. I'm going to flip through to my, my newspapers and I'm going to try to find some I already found. I'm going to be using definitely this page and maybe if I will find something very colorful again. And this one, I think I'm, I'm okay with these two pages. So I'm going to be fussy cutting out these two pages and it's just because of the color. Uh, Margaret colored her papers with the inks. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be using inks as well, I guess. But as a base, I'm going to be using the colors which I already see on these two pages. So from these two pages, I'm going to uh, fussy cut out pieces which will create my future, uh, future tickets. Oh, I have cut few strips from the newspaper sheet. I did cut those sides which were uh, without any print, uh, I mean without any images. And I do have them here. Uh, the newspaper paper is very fragile, that's why I'm going to be using again like before. Uh, I'm going to be using this normal wrapping paper and I'm going to glue my strips on this wrapping paper. I try to cut quite similar size of, of strips. Oh, not this one, this didn't go well. These are nearly nearly same. So I'm gonna glue them in the row in the one line. So I do have cut it these on the strips. I'm gonna fold it somehow um, and Cut these strips evenly on the sides on my guillotine to make it straight as much as I can. So one side, now flip it over and the other side. I do have one and I'm gonna do the same with this one. So I do have my strips done and now I'm gonna fold them somehow into the size of the future tickets. Um, I think this one I'm just gonna fold on half and then on one, two. Yeah, these will be nice size. So one and two, somehow this way. So I folded it. Now I can, uh, I can leave it this way and I'm gonna take a pencil and kind of mark the middle here. I think it's somewhere there, middle and the middle. I'm gonna take my hole punch, this crocodile, and punch the holes in there. Like this. So 
So I do have punched the holes. Now I can fold it back and kind of rip the papers in that fold. I can either rip it off or cut it with the scissors on separate pieces. So I will have piece like this and I forgot to punch the opposite side. So I'm going to just slide it in the half of the image, not totally, just a half of the paper and try to punch just the notch like this. So I'm going to do it with all of them. So I do have these basics and they look quite amazing. Now I'm gonna take these and fold it this one as well somehow on the half, on the half, or again, yeah, I'm gonna make smaller ones this way. And now I'm gonna take again my paper punch, that uh, whole punch, and here I'm gonna punch just the corners. Kind of like notch on the corner. You can also take um, a circle punch and with the circle punch you can punch these ends of, uh, of the paper or you can take scissors and with the scissors you can do exactly the same. So just like this and I'm gonna open it. Ah. Here I need to, yeah, here I need to punch them one more time. This was shorter. And I do have another ticket. So I can separate them or leave them as they are. Or base for the tickets, I mean. And with these... Well, I'm just gonna cut it on pieces. This will be too long. So this will be kind of like shorter, shorter ones. So I do have here and <laughs> over here my bunch of tickets and I uh, bring my uh, uh, inks, my inks, I'm gonna be using the, this one, it's normal cheap added ink, here I do have Versa Craft uh, black, yeah, black ink, normal black, I bring few st uh, stamps I do have in my collection which I would like to try, most of them are Teresa Collins stamps, collections I have and here I do have studio lights uh, alphabets and Teresa Collins yeah Teresa Collins stamps and then I bring my little wooden alphabet because there are beautiful you know numbers and letters maybe I will try here I do have this is dating stamp I don't mean dating with somebody but I mean date stamps <laughs> and I do have here these I found them long, long time ago on AliExpress and they can be totally used on on tickets because they already have beautiful design on it which can be used on tickets so maybe I will use them but first I would like to try Teresa Collins because I didn't use her, her stamps for such a long time and I think I would like to try that again so I'm gonna take maybe this one Look at that, I do have it folded. And some Teresa Collins stamps. So what I'm gonna take. And I do have quite loads of these collections. Sometimes I don't even remember the names of the collections, so please Forgive me, I know it's Teresa Collins stamps. <laughs> That's all I know. So I'm gonna have a look. Can you fit here? Yes, you can. Ah, that 
goed. Oké. Okay. En wat do you have here? Lekker. Hmm. Oeh, hier. 5 cent en stars. Zo, so, first I'm going to take stars. And I'm going to play it right here. That's like made it for this one. That's exact size. And then five cents. I think. Mm. Uh, I may well try red color on that. Good. Now, how about some some date so I'm gonna leave what is there I'm not sure what is there but I'm gonna leave it there and place my dating here so what's next I have something here arrow of course arrow Mm, right here. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> and what is here? Date time. I think I can put there both. Date time. And now I'm not sure. I need some piece of paper. Just try. Date. Yeah. Good. So a date I'm gonna place here. And there is some number. And time. Time I'm gonna place right here. Oh, I pressed too much. That's usually what I do. Yeah. I'm gonna keep it as it is. Uh, now, to get it a little bit grungy. Or maybe I can put there some, uh, some numbers. These are together. Why not? 45. They are kind of nicely holding together. Ah, not anymore. Okay. Oh, 45 wonderful so now to make it look old for that I'm gonna grab this spectrum noir harmony line seal brown uh, ink and I'm gonna distress all the edges and go over the ticket And I do have here a bottle with water, so I'm gonna just spritz on it and let it dry. Then I will see. Uh, this, uh, this ink should be reacting with water as well, so I will see. I didn't try it before, so now it's time. So I'm gonna take another piece and right here I do have, again, Teresa Collins, this Stamp. So I'm gonna have a look how the heck I will place it there. This way. Oh, this way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, 
come on like this not too bad and here should I could I okay I do have some frames in there now I'm gonna fill them up with the other stamps so of course five cents that's wonderful that this stamp is here I'm so glad oh this time I'm gonna take black ink and place it right here so something else maybe this one looks like it will get there and so I'm gonna try to place it there all right good now I didn't press too hardly so it looks good now what else what else Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, that can go there. Every day. Every day. That's nice. We are family every day. Five cents. <laughs> That's a good one. What else I can place there? Here and there. Well, I think maybe again some nice, some nice letter from here. F for family. Because I already used the stamp, we are family, so F for family should be there. And I'm going to place it right here. It's kind of invisible because <laughs> I do have that, that red line, but it is there. So now some number, number stamps. That's good for me and something else. I don't think so. I'm gonna distress it with this seal brow. And here I'm gonna just add to the edges darker color a little bit. And it's still wet, so I'm gonna let it dry properly. Oh, it's melting my stamping. So I'm gonna stamp another one. So which one now? I think this crazy one. What I'm gonna do here, I have no idea. But I do have kind of like 
a small window here which I can stamp here even this is like talking bubble but <laughs> I think I can do something with that Okay, I do have talking bubble in there. Maybe some numbers. Nice. Good. I do have here this, so maybe I can somehow use parts of these stamps. Like here is number 23. I like number 23 because both of my sons has a birthday on 23rd of June. So I like that number. Oh, that's perfect. Okay. And something here. Here is 50 cents. Oops. Okay, not now. Here is today. I think I can fit that today. Yes, I can fit that today. So I do have here a stamp, number 58, right here. I'm gonna have a look which way it is. First I'm gonna give it a try. Ah, yeah, this way. Okay, I think I can do that. Not too bad. I don't like it. <laughs> but I'm gonna keep it there. And I think it's missing something. So I'm going to take my, uh, this is Arteza. Uh, it's a roller ball pen and it's perfect when you want to do some doodling. I like to do doodling sometimes in my own personal journal. It's perfect relaxation. So I'm going to be making kind of like doodling right here using my Arteza pen these long lines I'm gonna draw with the ruler and here I can totally go just like this just small doodle lines and here And I'm going to keep it this way. And again, distress and sp spray with water. And here are my uh, fox tickets uh, where I used as a background paper 
paper from newspapers and I really like them. I like that, uh, you know, that the pattern on the paper makes beautiful pattern on my stamps like these stripes. They are perfect. If I will want to do it somehow with stamps or with my distressing or coloring, it will be so difficult. So these papers from newspaper <laughs> with these red lines are actually amazing for tickets. So go to have a look. I hope uh, that this was inspirational and maybe you will try it too to find some uh, great page in your newspapers and use it to create your uh, vintage style tickets. It was so much fun. In the end, I pulled out also many other stamps I do have <laughs> here because I wanted to try them. But I have to say I love these from AliExpress the most and my uh, like normal, not not artistic, but normal office stamp with the, that data stamp or date stamp looks amazing. I have to say I like that stamp. It's here and here, here. I stamp it everywhere, I guess. Parts of that here and somewhere high here here so i stamp it quite a lot and i really like that so this is my stamping uh, stamping session and another part of a hundred day project i really love this one it's so relaxing and you know when you don't know when you want to craft when you want to create something and you have no idea what to do today you have no not you know inspiration this is perfect. There is so many channels who are already doing these 100 days projects for many years. So go to have a look. Uh, I just uh, saw on some number when I tried to hashtag. So there was number, uh, I think, 512 channels, not videos, channels who joined that, that uh, challenge, 100 projects a day. So that's quite a lot. I know too now. <laughs> I know Seven Plaza and uh, I know Tracy Fox. I will <laughs> have to have a look who else <laughs> doing a 100 days challenge. It's really amazing. You can get so much inspiration from these channels. And I'm so happy I started this one as well with my newspapers because it's a good challenge for me to actually think out of the box, outside the box. I think you are saying in English. So this is my sharing for today. Thank you so much for jumping in and spending your time with me. I hope you did enjoy it. Have a beautiful day. Take care of yourself and I will see you soon. Bye.